first time I saw kale chips, I got a photo sent to me from an animal control volunteer. And I remember looking at it and thinking, that dog is never going to get out of animal control. And then my second thought was, we've got to get that dog out of animal control. When we went to actually go pick him up, he was in such bad shape and so big that he couldn't walk. We had to put him in a wagon and literally wheel him out. When we brought him to the vet, I was expecting the worst. I thought diabetes, maybe kidney failure, something really bad. And then all of his tests came back normal. And it turned out he was just overweight and he was gonna be able to lose the weight with diet and exercise. I'm Barb Fulsang and this is K9 Swim and Trim and we're here today to swim with kale chips. We started at 86.4 and today we was down to 63 and I think our goal is somewhere in the mid 40s. So we gave him the name Kale Chips and we wanted to give him a fresh start. You know, any dog that's been through the shelter system deserves a new beginning. So we just wanted to call him Kale Chips and signify a fresh start to a new healthy life. So Kale lives with us and lives with our family and our beagles. He gets to come to work with me every day. We just have to watch carefully everything that goes in his mouth because it's all about calorie control and uh, exercise. He likes to, loves to be outside, loves to go on walks. Every time we go on a new route, it's a new adventure for him. And each time he's gone an extra 10 feet or an extra 100 feet, um, it's been a huge milestone. And now we can go up to a half a mile on a walk and uh, it's just fantastic for him. His whole, his whole demeanor has changed. Kale chips have actually inspired a few recipes for us. We make a dehydrated carrot chip um, that's infused with liver, so it's a nice low calorie treat for him to eat, and um, it has become a very popular bestseller for us. We've also made actual kale chips um, that have liver and coconut on them as well, so he's, uh, he's inspired a few new treats for us here at the store. We started posting his story on social media and it got picked up and it went viral and next thing we knew he was in Time Magazine. <laughs> it's been really nice that Kale has gotten so much attention because it's been a good way for us to open up a dialogue with people and talk about the types of dogs that are at our city shelters and there are dogs out there that need more help and that's what groups like One Tail at a Time are here to do. We're here to be there for those dogs and help them have a happy ending.